It is time for Patel It Like It Is, where Dr. Alok Patel shares health advice on the topics that matter most to you. Today we're talking about seasonal affective disorder and what to do if you're experiencing seasonal depression. Here's Dr. Patel with more. The days are getting darker, and this means less bright, shiny daylight, potentially some mood changes affecting millions of us. So let's shed a light on seasonal affective disorder. Seasonal affective disorder is a type of depression that is characterized by its seasonal pattern. When seasons change, so does light, and this can affect energy levels and mood. A diagnosis of seasonal affective disorder can usually be made off of understanding somebody's symptoms, which may be similar to symptoms of depression, such as feeling helpless, having trouble concentrating, or no longer enjoying hobbies that somebody used to. And with winter seasonal affective disorder specifically, some people may also experience overeating, oversleeping, and social withdrawal. An exact treatment plan may differ based on the individual, but it usually involves some form of light therapy, talk therapy, or medications, or a combination of all of these. And some people, including several of my colleagues, swear by light therapy, essentially getting bright exposure from a light box for about 30 to 45 minutes per day. This is really bright. Women are more likely to be affected, as are people who have other mental health illnesses. It's also more common farther north where it's darker. So this fall or winter, if you're feeling down or depressed, it could be seasonal affective disorder. It could also be related to dozens of other factors because mental health is a broad issue. But you want to make sure you check in with the healthcare professional and you ask for help. And Dr. Lok Patel joins me now for more on this. Dr. Patel, you just said there could be a ton of other factors here. So how can you tell? What are the indications that it is a seasonal issue and not something else? It's exactly that, the fact that it happens with the season. So people who have coexisting mental illnesses, whether it is depression, anxiety, even alcohol abuse, eating disorders, may have these symptoms overlap. But this is a type of depression that just has this temporal pattern where it comes and goes with the season. So that's kind of an important thing for people to check in with themselves about. We also have to pay attention to the fact that this is winter. There's also the potential for people to feel stressed out, burned out, or even lonely. So a lot of a lot of different variables to play with. What if you're just grumpy because it's cold out? Does that count? It totally does, because I'm kind of grumpy when it's cold out. I also, listen, hot take, I'm not a fan of the days getting darker a little bit earlier. And so all this plays into my moods this season. Um, so how does light therapy work for seasonal affective disorder? How do you get started if you want to do it? Well, the first thing I will say is it is important to check in with a healthcare professional because we just talked about all these other conditions somebody may have. Now, when it comes to seasonal affective disorder, there's still some research about the root cause with some scientists believing that it may be because of changes of melatonin and serotonin hormones that are affected by how much light we see in the day. So a light box is supposed to emulate the sunlight. There is a measure that people should look for if they want one, about 10,000 lux, which is like a sunshiny morning. You throw that box in front of you, don't look directly at it for about 30 to 45 minutes. Make sure if you get one, it is a approved response one that has a UV filter on it. You can check with the healthcare professional. And people swear by it. Research actually supports this as well. Some people may need to use a light box in addition to therapy, medications, but whatever you do for yourself that works, I'm all for it. So how does the clock change and winter play a role in all of this? I mean, I watched your video on social. I know that you were in tune with this topic. and. It differs per person, but I think it's important for people out there to not necessarily conflate the two. Seasonal affective disorder, we're talking about less daylight, but the clock change doesn't necessarily affect how much light there is in the day. It just shifts the time back earlier. Mm. And you know what people, especially some sleep scientists, do feel like is standard time. What we're in right now is more aligned with our biological clocks. People actually will sleep better right now versus daylight savings time in spring when you actually you actually lose an hour of sleep. So it is, it is, it's kind of a, a time where people need to pay attention to their own schedules, potentially pay attention to their sleep hygiene. And people like me, like, I don't like it getting darker earlier. I like, no. I like that late, that late light. Okay, so we need to live in summer all year long is what we're learning about Dr. Patel. It's not bad. Any other advice for people who are, who are struggling with this? I think it's really important to be honest about it. If people are struggling with seasonal affective disorder, there are tools available. We just mentioned light therapy, but it's also important that we are continuing this conversation about everyone's mental health and we're checking in with one another. And people use all these tools that are available like talk therapy. It is such a valuable, understated thing for people, a resource for people out there just to check in with themselves. Also, I have a life hack for you. Hit me. Therapy light in the bathroom. You just turn it on while you're getting ready. No extra time or effort needed. 
You're getting that bright light half an hour while you're getting ready. Where did deal. you get yours from? <laughs> we'll talk in. about that later. <laughs> Dr. Patel, thank you. And remember, Dr. Patel is here to take your questions. Leave a message on our Instagram feed at ABC News Live, and he might answer your question right here on Friday. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.